Hello guys, um, in this video we are going to be continuing with our revision and today we will be focusing on number system and numerical calculations. Number system and numerical calculations. Okay. So, without wasting any time, let's go ahead and start working on our questions. Let's go ahead and start working on our exam questions. So, guys, also don't forget that we do offer online extra classes. And if you want to join, you can just text the number that you are seeing on the screen. And our online extra classes are only 80 rand per month. So, they are not free. They are not free. They are 80 rand per month. Okay, so let, now let's go ahead and start working on question 3.1. So question 3.1 says that arrange in ascending order. So guys, if we are arranging, there are two things that we can arrange in. If we are arranging, so I want you to understand this. If we are arranging, we can either arrange in ascending order or we can arrange in descending order. Or we can arrange in descending order. So ascending order means that from smallest to highest. And then descending order means that from highest to smallest. That's what um, ascending and descending order mean. So in this case, we are told to arrange in ascending order, meaning that we are going to be arranging from smallest to highest. So guys, we know that if we are arranging, numbers that has negative signs are the smallest. Numbers that has negative signs are the smallest. So the smallest in this case is going to be negative 62. Negative 62. Or maybe for more context, um, this is why I'm saying that the smallest is going to be negative 2. So if we have our number line, we have 0 here, and then we have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 4, right? And then here we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and then and so on and so on. And then we have negative 60. Two. So we can easily see that the smallest will be negative 62, right? Will be negative 62. And then after negative 62, we will have negative 55. Negative 55. And then after negative 55, the smallest will then be negative 43. Negative 43. And then after negative 43, we will have 0. We will have zero and then after zero we will have eight and then after eight we will have 25 so this is what we call arranging in ascending order so we are arranging from the smallest to the highest so to easily understand it you can just refer to our number line so this is our number line so we can see that the smallest will be negative 62 and then negative 55 will be somewhere here and the negative 43 will be somewhere here. So we can see that this is the smallest, this is the second smallest, and then this is the third smallest. And then after writing our negatives, we can see that we have zero here. Before we get to one, we have zero. So then we will have zero, and then we will have eight, and then we'll have 25. That's how we arrange in, that's how we arrange in ascending order so now let's move to our next question which is question 3.2 so question 3.2 says that evaluate without the use of a calculator okay so this is very easy guys we just need to evaluate without the use of a calculator so what we need to do first is to get rid of the square root so we know so we know that the square root of 49 is 7 so we'll have 7 minus 2. We will have 7 minus 2. Divide by 
and then here we will have 3. And we know that 2 to the power of 3 is equals to 8. So we'll have negative, negative 8. And guys, we know that negative, positive and negative gives us negative. That's why we have negative 8 here. And then we'll have multiplied by 5. And then 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2 equals to 5. 3 minus 8 is equal to negative 5. Multiplied by 5. Multiplied by 5. Okay. Multiplied by 5. So that's how we that's how we work it out. That's how we work it out. So now we will know we, we, we can then solve it. 5 divided by negative 1 will be negative 1. 5 divided by negative 5 will have negative 1 multiplied by 5. And the negative 1 multiplied by 5 will have negative 5. So our final answer will be negative 5. Our final answer will be negative 5. Okay? And if you are struggling to understand it, you can just um, pause the video and rewind so that you can be able to understand the entire concept. Okay? Um, so that brings us to the end of this video. And guys, if you want to join our online extra classes, please text the number that you are seeing on the screen so that we can be able to add you on our group and learn with other learners as we prepare for our examination okay and don't forget to like the video and subscribe so that when we post you will be noted notified you will be notified that we have posted okay